everyone so today we are doing a very exciting video this is like now becoming like a part four of shopping with like weird filters on my phone that make it difficult to know what color i'm buying but you guys seem to really enjoy this so i just think you know what if you like it i'll keep doing it it's as simple as that. So where this whole concept started was when I bought outfits with the inverted filter on. And it was like, we didn't know what we were getting. I personally don't have the color wheel memorized, so I didn't know that like a black would be a white and a green would be a pink when it's inverted. I didn't know that. And then that took us over to shopping with the grayscale feature. And then we decorated a room with the inverted feature. And the only natural progression is to now decorate a room from shopping with the grayscale feature on. And that basically means everything is going to be a shade of gray, whether it's white, gray, black, variants of those. It's gonna look like that. I'll put it on my face right now. Here it is. Can you tell, can you remember what color my sweater was? It's like a taupe color. It's actually kind of an interesting color. It's like light taupe, a dusty taupe. So I have absolutely no idea how this room is gonna turn out. Now this room we're gonna be decorating, we originally decorated as the Sims room where I decorated a room in Sims and then made it in real life. It's actually a room that gets used a surprisingly fair bit. So I thought let's amp it up a little bit and with COVID I can't do any like friends or neighbors or anyone's room so I have to do ones in our own house. So I thought, you know what, it'll be fun. Let's just amp up that room a little bit why not? I want to do this video and it's really the only room that I think needs a makeover right now. So that's the room we chose. I'm actually just like sitting here thinking like, is there anything else for me to say? Like, why do I feel like I got that intro out super quick? Like, I feel the need to talk more, but I mean, why bother? Like, I won't ramble on. Let's just get into shopping with the grayscale feature on and let's decorate this room some mystery colors. Let's go. Okay, so this shows a really good example of kind of what's gonna happen to the colors. So we've got the rainbow and then some here. And then when you turn color filters off, they are many different shades of gray. Like a few give giveaways will be if it's dark it's probably a dark color but you don't know what it's gonna be like you won't know okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go on Wayfair they just have tons of different options this isn't sponsored by any of these companies let's just see what we can find now already I have no idea what color all of these are like I'm guessing this is like a wood tone and there is a window right above so I don't want to have too high of a bed I definitely don't want a canopy bed that's what's in there right now and the room is quite small it's like seven by 10. So to do a canopy bed, it just really, really fills the whole room up. So I'm gonna try to avoid canopy beds this time around. Ooh, this one's kind of speaking to me right here. This is kind of a fun design going right on. Herringbone, is that what it's called? Hmm. See, and I really like just for the room too, to not have a end board to it. When in a small room, you wanna have the least amount of like wall-like things. Yeah, this looks cute, I really like this. I have no idea what color it is. If I had to guess, just looking at it, it's like a dark charcoal, so I would say it's like a medium color medium darkness. Okay, now let's look for a nightstand. There's probably only room for one nightstand. Sometimes I like to do the two on either side, but in this room, I think we'll just do one. So let's see what we can find. Ooh, a set of two nightstands. This is actually really cute. I like that. I definitely want the nightstand to have a drawer to put things in. I don't want one of those nightstands that doesn't have any drawers. Like that just won't work. I'm trying to think, could I fit two nightstands? Like, I don't know. It would be pretty tight in there, I think. I really like this one. I would guess that it's like a light wood with white on the front would be my guess. I'm not 100% sure. I really don't know, but that's... That feels right. And this is a set of two, like I get two nightstands. Let's do it, what the heck? Oh my gosh, you guys remember this. I have such a soft spot in my heart for this wallpaper with dogs on it. Like that will be somewhere. That would be so cute in like an office or something. This one's really cute. I don't know why this one's got my attention a little bit. Like just the polka dots, I don't know, kind of fun. Peacock wallpaper, ooh. These wallpapers, like I bet if I had grayscale off, these would all be super obnoxious and loud colors. Ooh, what would this one look like? like the wiggle room. It's between this dot one, which I really like, but I almost feel like, could you hand paint that? Like, I don't ever really want to get wallpaper that you could hand paint because then I feel like 
I should just hand paint it, you know? And like this one's actually kind of fun too. I was kind of not noticing that one. Oh my gosh, and I like this leaf one too. I would imagine this would be green, I would guess. I feel like we should do this one. Oh my gosh, there's only one left in stock? <gasps> we gotta choose something else. Let's do this one. Hopefully there's enough of this one available. I don't wanna go too crazy, but I don't wanna be boring with the bedding, you know? Like I already do have a bedspread, so even if it's like a duvet cover, that wouldn't be too bad. This is nice. Ooh, I like this one though. <gasps> oh, I love that texture. This is cute. Okay, so now I'm looking for some throw pillows and a little bit of decor. Ooh, I mean, you really can't beat this cute little lamp. It's really cute, isn't it? I don't know what color this would be though. Like this could actually be yellow. This could be green. This could be pink. Like I have no idea. I'm actually starting to feel the heat of it a little bit. You know what? That could be good actually. Four big pillows. I don't know what these are gonna turn out. Like this could be like a rainbow assortment. I really don't know. Okay, I think I have everything. I just threw a throw blanket in just because it might be necessary, I don't know. I can't sit here and be confident right now because I have no idea what I got. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That's it, I guess, that's all. But okay, I will see you guys in a millisecond to decorate this room with all of the furniture and decor pieces I bought with the grayscale on. Let's do the decorating now, future Mia. Take it away. Okay guys, it has been just under two months. I'm in the Sims room right now and it has been completely emptied. If you have no idea what I'm saying or talking about when I say Sims room, I did this video where I made a room in Sims and then I made it in real life and it actually didn't look very good. So I'm very excited to change this up. I'm just hopeful what we got on the grayscale looks good in here, better than the Sims room. So this is the room that we're working with. It's like seven by 10 feet, so a decent size. It used to have this canopy bed in there, which was like, way too big for that room. Anytime you put a canopy bed in a littler room, it really closes it off. And then in here, my room is full of all the other boxes. I have yet to open anything up. I don't know what we have to work with. We will open everything one by one and hopefully it goes together. So yeah, here is the room that we're going to be working in. I hope the lighting looks okay. I have like lights all over the place so there's like a bit of shadows. But also in another video where I did like upscale your room DIYs for inexpensive, I did this back feature wall, which honestly, at the time I was like, it's not bad, but now I'm kind of like, I'm ready to cover it. So you guys know, I have like this new obsession with wallpaper. I love like the louder, the better. So let's see what we have. We have four rolls. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Oh my gosh, Kiwi, what is it? Is it, it's leaves? I like forget what I ordered. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I was not expecting expecting this at all. Okay, so it's like two shades of blue, some tan and orange colors. That's what we're gonna be working with. That's what will hopefully match everything else. Wow, this is going to be a statement wall, but like this actually kind of goes with the baseboards and also the light blue walls that are already in here. Let's put this on. This is peel and stick, so it's pretty easy to apply, but I'm gonna need help from my mom. Putting up wallpaper, it's always a lot easier when you have a buddy, so. Ming! <laughs> we got wallpaper to put up. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Isn't it nice? It actually matches this wall already. I know, right? It goes good. It goes great. I have to wear my toque though, it's so cold though. Yeah. <laughs> my head is cold. We're in the side. I know. I can't warm up. All right, let's put it up. Wow. Oh yeah. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, that, you could have matched that better if you tried. All right, you guys, the wallpaper is done. The reveal in three, two, one. Yeah! -da -da! Look how good it looks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the colors work perfectly with this. 
but will it work perfectly with the bed, the nightstand, all the decor, the pictures? We will see. Usually I would say that we should build the bed next, but because it's such a small room and we won't really have room to build anything else, I think we'll build the nightstands. But first we must have lunch. All right, we are well fed and we are ready to build the nightstand. Now nightstands either come built or they're like a million pieces. And I think this one might be a million pieces. Ooh, Ooh. it's like a light wood. That's oh, nice. That'll look really nice. Like, oh, and it's white. Oh yeah. White wooden legs. Look at more wood. Oh. Another shade oh. of wood. Ooh, I'm loving this. Oh, I think this is the top color. Oh, that's not bad. That's gonna be good. Interesting, it's two-tone wood. Let's build. First step. interesting it's saying C and then it's these little wooden dowels but I didn't see them did you put it make sure there's not dowels in there oh there is <laughs> Truth. We're gonna see if the bed fits. I'm a little concerned because it's a double, but there's only one way to find out. So let's pull it in. We don't know the color. All right, moment of truth. Oh! Okay, wait, is it gray? It's gray. Oh, it's gray. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your hat gray. <laughs> It is a wild success, but I am nervous. This room is so much better. <laughs> I know, and like there's lots of like clearance room here still so I can get to my uh, clothes. It's so much better. <laughs> totally, this is better. The bed should be this way. The layout is so much better. I the layout. I can breathe in this room. But I can't breathe out here. <laughs> Oh yeah, these are really cute. Yeah. I wonder if they'll be this big. Matchy, matchy. You guys, we were so lucky. We had two extra globe light bulbs. Perfect for these little sides. I don't even want to do the bedding because I'm scared. <laughs> Should we do the pictures? Sure. I'm very nervous because it's going so well. I don't want to wreck it now, but I was thinking two pictures on this wall would be nice. It ended up being a lot bigger than I had anticipated. I'll let you guys see the, or actually I looked. <laughs> Does it match? They're cute! Does it go? Oh, it's not too bad. It all depends on what the bedding is too. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, actually, it's, it could be worse. So I was thinking both in that corner. Cute. It is cute. I just am wondering if they should be a little more. Oh, no. Oh, like further apart. Yeah. Okay, now we have a few decor pieces. This was that little uh, jewelry dish. I don't know, I just didn't think this was gonna be white or this small. Like that's one of the surprises as well. Like it's really cute though. It's a little like wiener dog holder for like jewelry and stuff. I think that would be really adorable. 
And then these were, oh, the succulents. Pretty basic coloring there. Nice pop of color. Okay, now that everything is going so well together, I'm more nervous. This is the old bedding, but I got a duvet cover, so I'm just going to put this into the cover. This one looks cute though, but I don't know what we got yet. Let me grab the box. Why do you keep looking at me like that? Do you know something? What? I, these are so cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's pink. Okay, I like the polka dots. I think we gotta put it on and see. Yeah, I think it's adorable bedding. I think it's cute bedding too. Yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> Love. Oh yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> You're Mom. not using these little pink peach ones yet? Love. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> That's so cute! Now, the throw pillows. <gasps> oh my goodness, it felt amazing to sit down. I think these are all pillows, if I can remember correctly. There's but like four or more boxes after this one. Yes. Oh! A black pillow! That Ties in pretty good with that picture. Oh wow! Next box. Oh my! <laughs> I did not know this was gonna be purple. What the? Oh, I forgot I got a basket. <laughs> I love how flat it is. Black and white again. <gasps> Black again? Oh. With hot <laughs> that might be fun. It's a little loud. Chippy will love these pom poms. Okay. Let's see what the throw blanket was, and then we'll get the bed all set up. Wait, this is the blanket? Oh! <laughs> that is, I thought that was it. I thought this was packaging. I thought it was a big envelope. It's like burnt orange. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay. What do you think? I love it. It's kind of an explosion near the end. It was going so well. It's cute. Shopping with the grayscale feature, furniture, bedroom, makeover. What do you guys think of the final product? I personally am so relieved and impressed. Like a few things do clash for sure. Don't get me wrong. I feel like it flows pretty good. Like not bad for not knowing what color anything was. Like we got lucky I think. These shopping with the grayscale or inverted filter on are some of my favorite videos that I've been doing recently so if you want to see more make sure to let me know what you want to see me do and I will be sure to get to those. But yeah as always I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!